you probably saw my Rosebud Hamfest video where one of the finds for free was this 50 megahertz antenna matcher. When you have a look at the back panel, at first glance you think, hey, this was built wrong. The labels are upside down. But the builder was actually quite smart because if you assume this is a desktop unit, you're peering over the desk and the labels are the right way up from the user's perspective if you're looking from above. Just one of the little quirks that you get in homebrew equipment, but not necessarily in something that's commercially manufactured. Depending on how you use something, it might pay to also have labels upside down, even though no commercial manufacturer would be crazy enough to do it. What I didn't do then, but I have done now, is to try and reverse engineer this antenna coupler. Just in case you want to build one, as you saw before, it works very well, and we're at a good phase of the solar cycle where it's handy to have an antenna coupler for six meters, the times when you might not have a dedicated six meter antenna, but the band is way open, and you're jealous of people that do have an antenna for six meters. So to join in the fun, if you don't have room for a dedicated antenna, then at least build an antenna coupler like this that can get you on the air and even get you some good contacts. Uses two variable capacitors. This one here is just an ordinary type. This one is a dual gang. It happens to be in a butterfly configuration. I'll just show you the difference here. This one here is the what I'd call the input variable capacitor that connects in series with the primary coil which is where the RF comes from from the transmitter end it's a bit hard to see but the primary coil has a diameter of about 50 millimeters uh, about two turns over the middle of the secondary coil so that forms effectively one circuit there then on the secondary or the antenna side you've got a tapped coil uh, there's two taps there it's symmetrical this is a little bit smaller in diameter only 40 millimeters but it's got more turns in this case I think about seven turns and there I'll just uh, show you a better view of it here this is the butterfly variable capacitor. So the rotor is earthed, the two sides, they are separate, uh, two capacitors in one effectively, and by being symmetrical, in conjunction with the coil, it goes to the ends of the larger secondary coil. That provides the required symmetry for this to be a balanced coupler as is desirable if you're using say a tuned feeder dipole for six meters your radiation pattern will be unpredictable there'll be a lot of lobes in funny directions it's a bit of a lottery you might get high gain in one point and you move 10 degrees and you go into a null you can still get some good results with that sort of arrangement on six meters if you're lucky and the two tapping points there, they are two or three turns apart. Anyway, the main thing is that it's symmetrical about the middle. And another interesting point here, you can just see a black wire. Uh, it's not actually connected to anything, but the idea is that, and I've got it in a dotted line here, uh, you just connect it to that. I think it may help with some antennas if you're just using an end fed single wire you might want to earth that. So just a deeper look at the antenna coupler just in case you want to build one dedicated for 50 megahertz. These capacitors are common and cheap at ham fests 
so really you've got no excuse if you've got some rigid wire a box some antenna connectors then it makes a great project if you need to do any troubleshooting then just leave your circuit inside that will save you problems and time if you ever need to troubleshoot something especially something that's not immediately obvious in how the connections go do you want to get the most from your portable qrp operating good antennas is a great place to start find out how i succeed with my two books hand carried qrp antennas and more hand carried qrp antennas the big sellers with favorable reviews from all around the world to learn more visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.